Well, it is time to hook up the permanent power. So to my right, your left, we have the power meter, the permanently installed power meter. We need to get a trench from where this piece of conduit goes into the ground, around the front of the garage, in front of the garage, over there to the temporary power pole, which has my coat hanging on it currently, and some conduit in the ground to get this thing wired up. So we're gonna go ahead and trench through here, put the condo in the ground, backfill so that the contractors can continue working inside the house. So this is ready for inspection. In order to get the LNI guys to buy off on all this, you need somewhere to stand so they can actually inspect inside of here. Because I have to run the wires up inside and connect them to the top terminals or top lugs. And because this is so high, he wouldn't be able to be safe without something to stand on. Uh, this is sort of borderline, to be perfectly honest. A lot of times, they want a piece of plywood that's been staked down and. They can get kind of nitpicky on you. So put a little bit of thought into it, throw some boards out here, make it semi-stable, right? I can stand on this with no problems at all. This is a two by six and two two by fours. Uh, not only will this be good for the inspector, but it'll actually allow me to, uh, once I push the wires up through this tube, I'll be able to actually work inside of here and wire this. So make it easier on yourself, make it good for the inspector. You'll probably get through it, no problem. All right, so the power company has come out and they pulled the meter out uh, and they disconnected the power lines at the green box out of the road. So we're going to, well, I've already disconnected lines from inside the meter socket. We're going to pull them out of the conduit and we're going to reroute that wire, a triplex or main 
wire for the house through the trench and over to the main socket and connect it up. Or maybe just pull the heater and see what happens. We might get lucky. Not hand digging, hopefully. Yeah, not hand digging. Okay. Apparently breaking my panel, though. That's all right. Yep. You got stuck with us because this is a disconnect, isn't it? Pardon? This is a disconnect on a weird day for out here, so that's why you got stuck with us, huh? Well, yeah, we don't usually do this area except Monday, Wednesday. Uh -huh. But uh, he's off today, and they, we had a bunch of them down here, and rather than blow them out on Monday, we get some of them taken care of. So that's what we're doing. Everything looking good all right so far? Yeah, your ditches are fine. You can bury those back. Beautiful. What about septic? So I haven't had time to get it done yet. I okay. actually, I'll be unfortunately having to have another trip. Well, just call it in. You got plenty on there. Okay. Okay, well you guys have a great day. Hey, you, you too. too. Thanks, Thanks for a lot. Coming Appreciate out. it. Be careful out here. Well, so, that was the LNI inspector uh, for electrical inspection. And he did his inspection. He put a sticker on the side of my box. And now I'm going to call the power company and come back out and install the meter so we will have power back in the house. Well, this is going to wrap up the install for the permanent power. So we dug the trench, we put the conduit in. We did that for a couple of reasons. One was to allow the contractors to keep working on the house while I was waiting for the power company to come out and do disconnects and then pull the wire. We had the power company come out and disconnect, pulled the wire, got it connected in, had Ellen and I perform the inspection, did all the backfilling, got everything all covered up. And the power company came out and put the meter in and then they hooked up to the green box out of the road. It actually went really well and it was uh, really quick. Uh, it was a little bit of coordination between getting the power company to do the disconnect and getting LNI to do the inspection uh, on the same day to minimize the amount of time that the house was, the house was without power. But overall, uh, pretty happy with how it all turned out. Uh, glad to have the meter on this side of the house, which is kind of out of sight, out of mind. It's uh, away from the front, so it doesn't detract from the house at all. Hope you guys got something out of this one. Definitely went a little overkill on the trench depth, but deeper is always better, in my opinion, for power lines. Definitely check out some of these other videos. I'll have this house series, 
my house series and the tractor series videos all down around here. Definitely hit that subscribe button. It always helps me out in the long run. Until next time, thanks for watching.